Well, good evening, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm at Lakeview Cemetery in Burlington, Vermont, because there are so many interesting people buried here. I just keep coming back. So, my GPS told me that it's in this area that the person I want to talk about is buried. So, I'm going to sit right here because... Um, you know, if I find this person's grave in the future, I'll make an update video to tell you how to find this person's grave. Until then, though, I'm going to go ahead and um, point the camera this way with the idea that this is the general vicinity. The person I'm going to talk about is Theodora Agnes Peck. Theodora Peck, born October 25, 1882, died January 11, 1964, was an American author and poet from Vermont. She published several historical novels when she was in her 20s and 30s, and her poems were published in magazines, newspapers, and literary journals throughout her life. She was born in Burlington, Vermont, on October 25, 1882. An only child, her father was Theodore S. Peck, a recipient of the Medal of Honor during the American Civil War, and her mother was Agnes Louise Leslie, 1843-1917, of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Peck attended the public schools of Burlington and graduated from Burlington High School in 1900. She then attended a special non-degree program at the University of Vermont, which she completed in 1904. In 1900, Peck authored the poem, A Dream of the Flag, which she read at several public events. Her poem was subsequently published in, in Leslie's Popular Monthly. Different spelling than her mother's name, by the way. In 1905, Peck published her first novel, Hester of the Grants, a romance of old Bennington. This endeavor was widely reported on in newspapers nationwide, owing largely to her sex and youth. By the way, this is a picture of, of her. This is from the dust jacket of 1914's White Dawn. Residing temporarily in Scotland provided the inspiration for Peck's next novel, 1908's The Sword of Dundee, A Tale of Bonnie Prince Charlie. The book that followed was another historical work set in Revolutionary War era of Vermont, 1914's White Dawn, A Legend of Ticonderoga. Peck continued to write and publish poetry throughout her life. Her work appeared in numerous newspapers, magazines, and literary journals, and she was frequently asked to provide readings of her work at veterans' reunions, memorial dedications, and other public events. During her life, Peck maintained membership in several professional and legacy societies, including the Burlington Literary Society, Daughters of the American Revolution, Society of Colonial Dames, and United Daughters of 1812. She was a member of the Athena Club, a women's service organization, and was active with the Third Order of St. Francis. Peck was an honorary member of the Society of the Army of the Potomac, the International Mark Twain Society, and the, Institu the uh, Institut Littéraire et Artistique de France. At age 18, she became the first female honorary member of the Medal of Honor Legion of the United States, now referred to as the Legion of Valor, after being bestowed Medal No. 1 of the second class. She was also a philanthropist and benefactor, and her causes included Burlington's Young Men's Christian Association, the YMCA, and St. Michael's College in Colchester. At her death, her family's home was sold, and the proceeds were used to establish the Theodora Agnes Peck Scholarship Endowment at the University of Vermont. I wonder if that still exists. I, sh I, should, uh, I should check on that. Peck died in Burlington on January 11, 1964, after a long, long illness. I thought she died at the hospital. A 1920 convert to Catholicism, her funeral took place at Burlington's Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. I did a video on, uh, on that church. I'll uh, put that in the description below, the link to that. She was buried at Lakeview Cemetery in Burlington. Peck never married and had no children. In July 1963, obituaries for Teresa C. Egan, who died at age 80, indicated that she had been Theodora Peck's live-in companion for more than 40 years. Now, I did mention that um, she's buried here, and she's buried actually with her parents, uh, Theodore Peck and um, her mother, uh, Agnes. Thing is, she has no burial stone. The cemetery records indicate that she's buried, quote, left of father, unquote. So, 
if and when I find his grave, I'll certainly point that out. I'd like to read you the bio from uh, the, her biography from the dust jacket of her novel White Dawn, a legend of Ticonderoga from 1914. Miss Theodore Peck is the daughter of General Theodore S. Peck, past commander of the Vermont Command Commandary, military order of the Loyal Region Legion of the United States, and for many years, Adjutant General of Vermont. She was educated at Burlington High School and University of Vermont. She is the only woman honorary member of the Medal of Honor Legion of the United States, holding medal number one of the second class, a member of Green Mountain Chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution, and an honorary member of the Vermont Society, Daughters of 1812. In 1905, she published her first novel, Hester of the Grants, a story of Old Bennington, being then 19 years of age. This was followed in 1908 by The Sword of Dundee, a tale of Bonnie Prince Charles, and in 1914, White Dawn, a legend of Saratoga, a romance of the French and Indian War. Unquote. An observer notes that she was named Mary Agnes Peck and legally changed her name to Theodora in 1908. All right, well, really wanted to talk about her because it's fun to talk about an interesting woman as well. So, until the next video, till I see you again, you have a good day. I would really appreciate it if you would like, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you like the content I provided, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you could share this video, share any one of my videos, share all my videos. Let's share our love of history with everyone, far and wide. All right, so you have a great evening, and I shall see you soon. Bye.